Okay, so this bed is a, for a 2001 Dodge 2500 short box single rear wheel. I'm just going to show you how to build one and put it together. So, on this particular truck, you're going to get uh, your inner frame rails cut out and your two main top rails. And you're going to lift your main frame rails up, up on your jig. Now, this particular frame width is 33 inches to the inside. So you're going to use your guides, put your side rails up against them and clamp them down real good. Now, the easiest way to get these straight is to put them on here, mount them up to your, your brackets kind of lightly. And, and the way I do it is I measure 12 inches off of the end of my cart on both rails, clamp them down real good, and then you, and then to make then you got to make sure that they're square. So how you do that is you measure it diagonally from end to end. And these frame rails are 81 inches long, so diagonally with the 33 inch split, they should measure diagonally 89 inches on both sides in both directions. So make sure that you get these squared up. Make sure that the diagonal measurement is identical. And then you're going to clamp them down real good. The next step, so from the front of the bed, we are going to take our tape measure and we're going to measure 22 inches from the back. And we're going to make a mark. Then we're going to measure 50 inches. And we're going to make a mark. We're going to do that on both sides. And that is where your two main webs are going to go in. So when you get your main webs cut out, they're going to be 80 inches long each. What we're going to do is we're going to take our tape measure from the end. What we're going to do is we're going to set these side by side. We're going to make sure they're exactly flush and from each end we are going to take and make 21 and a half inches and make a mark across both of them you're going to do that same thing on the other side 21 and a half inches and make a mark and then we are just going to go ahead and put these in place so we're going to take one Now we mark these on top, so what we're going to do is we're going to roll that on the side and we're going to line those two marks up, our 22 inch mark and our 21 and a half inch mark, and we're just going to make sure that's identical on both sides. I like to take my square and put it on there. Just put it on the mark. Snug that up to it. Make sure our line this way is lined up with the edge of this, and our line this way is lined up with the back side of our main web. We're going to take our tape measure and we're going to make sure that that's 21 and a half inches off of there. This side is lined up perfectly as well. Twenty-one and a half on both sides. Now mine has to go in just a little bit. I just 
take something and tap it. Perfectly lined up. Triple check all your marks. Put your square on there. Make sure it's nice and square. Check the other side. And then we're just going to go ahead and tack weld that on there. Now make sure to just tack this. Don't fully weld it. You want to do this on both sides so that it don't roll. And you're just going to want to do that to both sides. See, now the heat from that moved mine, so I got to get a plan. back where it's supposed to be, and then we'll pack one. Now we're going to move on to the front piece. 